Hello, Centric Entrepreneurs. This is Taylor Elwood, your business wizard at ImagineYourReality.com. And today I want to talk about pacing, specifically pacing yourself in business. Um, really, really, if, if we look at the concept of pacing, we see it in exercise. So, for example, when you're exercising, you know, one of the uh, advice, some of the advice you'll get is, you know, to pace yourself, to make sure that you're not doing too much too fast. So if I'm swimming, for example, I might swim every other day, and then in the days between, I might do some weightlifting. And so by doing that, what happens is, is you're working the muscles in different ways. Um, you're not, you're not, um, you're not doing too much in one way. Instead, you're you're providing a variety of activities. And the benefit of doing those activities is that it actually helps you to increase your strength uh, much better than if you're just doing one activity over and over again. Well, it's the same thing with, with business. Um, not necessarily that you need to do different activities, but that you need to pace yourself, that you need to think about how much you're going to do. And, and, and sometimes I think that what I see with, with businesses, and I've certainly been guilty of it myself, is the tendency to focus on trying to do as much as possible to get all the things done. And the reality is, is we never get all the things done. There's always something on our list that needs to be worked on. So one of the things that I've come to realize is that I just need to pace myself, that there are going to be some days where I'm not going to get as much done as I might other days, and that it's okay. And that if I can accept that, it's okay to not necessarily get everything done, but that instead to just focus on getting done what's important, then what will happen is I will actually feel like I've done a really good job of taking care of myself and I will be able to show up better in my business and th there are going to be some days where you just don't get as much done for a variety of reasons maybe you had to run errands maybe you um, need to actually spend some time just allowing yourself to think and consider and contemplate maybe, uh, maybe you're taking care of a bunch of clients whatever else and there will be other days where you're going to be so creative, you're going to be so focused, you're going to get lots done. You're going to be like, man, I wish it was that way every day. But it's not that way every day. And quite honestly, if it was that way every day, you'd burn out pretty quickly. So I guess what I'm really trying to tell you is just to be gentle with yourself. Don't assume that you need to get everything done all the time. Instead, focus on getting done what you can in a given day. Pace yourself. Allow yourself to do different activities. It could be helpful to schedule the activities that you're doing. So maybe you make Monday your marketing day. Maybe you make Tuesday your your networking day. Uh, maybe you make Wednesday and Thursday your client your client service days. Maybe you make Friday uh, something else. You, you know, you'll figure it out. But I find that when I when I've taken some of my own activities and I've scheduled them in and blocked them in and, and paced myself in that way, I've actually been much more productive than if I've just kind of approached it as I'll do whatever and oh I'm gonna work on this and this and this for example I I'm working on a book lately and I haven't I haven't worked on that book um, probably in the last couple weeks and I'm okay with that because it just hasn't been the right time for it I know that it will be time to work on that book again soon but it's just a matter of pacing myself and just trusting that I need to focus on some other things in order to actually come back and really um, give myself over to the writing process when it comes to the book. So I would urge you to look at your own business in the same way and see how you can pace yourself. So if you do pace yourself, feel free to leave a comment below. Tell me and others how you pace yourself, what it is that you do um, in order to make yourself uh, get things done, but at the same time not burn yourself out. And if you haven't subscribed to the video, please make sure you click on the dragon over this away. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care and have a great weekend.